Welcome to the Success Sensei Podcast for anyone interested in success, happiness, and balance. We'll teach you how to be a black belt at life. And now, your host, former professional fighter, multiple world champion, entrepreneur, and investor, Robert Devan. Bowing in. This is Robert Devan, the Success Sensei, helping you to win at life one kick and punch at a time. Episode 323. After all is said and done, more is said than done. It's the Success Sensei Podcast main event. After all is said and done, more is said than done. So basically, this episode is going to be about stop talking complete rubbish. Stop listening to others talking rubbish. Take more action and attempt to do more than you say. Nobody likes wafflers and bullshitters. And there's so many of them around now, more so than ever. We are living in an era of self-promoters that's all everybody seems to be doing the loudest voice shouting is the one that seems to be noticed and in a lot of ways it's the only chance to get recognition or to get ahead but that is a fallacy and it is a falsehood nobody likes wafflers nobody likes spoofers nobody likes people who talk complete rubbish now the problem is identifying those people Because when people say certain things to you, you just take them at face value and you just assume that they're telling the truth. Why wouldn't you assume that? Because when you speak, you're telling the truth. So you automatically assume that these wafflers, spoofers and bullshitters, liars, con artists, fakers and rubbish talkers are telling the truth until you begin to realize who they are and what they stand for and that they're not truthful. And hopefully you don't get conned along the way. But all of us invariably do, even if it's just conned of your time or conned of a bit of your energy or conned of your attention. But as you get on, it becomes easier and easier to spot, you know, fake people, wafflers, bullshitters. And talk is cheap, as the expression goes Look, it's fine to talk through a plan. It's absolutely fine to talk through the pros and cons of going down a certain path, attempting to do, to achieve or to attain or to experience something and then to talk your your way out of it. I mean, that's clever. That's due diligence. It's important to do your homework. And if it all doesn't add up, then yeah, absolutely. There will be more talk than action. But then that was a strategy. That was for an actual reason. That wasn't just talk for talk's sake. That wasn't just ego talk. It wasn't any of those things. It was actually analyzing a deal. We're talking about the cheap talk that no one has any intention of ever um, following through on. Or not even any of the, the, the intention. They mightn't even have the bravery to follow through. It might just be talk for talk's sake. There's another expression in sales, and that is undersell and over deliver. You may have heard that one before, you may not. Undersell and over deliver. And we do live in a time where everybody is trying to oversell and under under deliver, and they're trying to close the deal and wait for the next idiot to come along who they can do the same process with. Now that is again a complete falsehood. You don't want to close the deal. You want to open the relationship. You want to have that customer for life. You want to have their friends and their family and their relations as customers for life. The only way you're going to do that is by underselling and over-delivering. And what does that mean? It means don't promise more than you can deliver and then make sure that you deliver that little bit extra. So that's especially true for the service industry. Um, not just the service industry, but it's easier to make work for the service industry. If you're saying you're going to do a certain a certain task, do that certain task and then do a small bit extra. Undersell and over deliver. If you want committed long term customers, that is the in inverted commas in air quotes. That is the secret strategy to success. 
give the customer more, slightly more, you don't have to be out of pocket, slightly more of your time and your energy and your service than you said you were going to, as opposed to the opposite. If you oversell, promise the sun, moon and stars, and then you fall short in your delivery, how long do you think you're going to retain that customer? That customer will feel cheated. They will go to someone else who's going to undersell and over deliver. So basically say less and do more in your own life as well. Make less promises to yourself and, and actually follow through on more promises to yourself than, than you make to yourself. Lying to yourself, a lot of people lie to themselves and it's probably one of the worst forms of lying. It's also the, one of the hardest ones to detect. It's very hard to tell if someone's a liar if they are actually believing their own lies. It's very hard to read them as a person. So lying to yourself, saying you're going to do certain things and then not following through does reduce your ability to respect yourself, which also reduces your ability to love or to even to like yourself. And if you don't like yourself, you're going to have a very hard life. Keep your plans quiet. There's no reason to give detractors and haters the opportunity to scupper your plans and your goals and your desires. That should be more motivation to not talk rubbish, to not waffle, to not glory in, in the, the ego discussions of what you're going to do, or what you're going to achieve or what you're going to have or, or what you, indeed what you've done. Keep your plans quiet. Keep your cards close to your chest. That means that you're more than likely to achieve more than you than you say you're going to achieve but you're not giving others the opportunity to you know, step in your way or to create obstacles. You're not fueling their resentment and you're not fueling their jealousy. At the end of the day, when you come to the end of the road in your life, it's very high, highly likely that all of us are going to regret not taking more action, not having the bravery to follow through on certain things. So that should be, yet again, another motivation another reason not to overly talk things up try to reduce potential future regret that's a good way to live your life in a way that you're thinking about in the future will you regret not taking a certain course of action and i guarantee you you're going to regret not taking more action than you will regret taking action so what I mean by that is you're going to have stronger regrets of, of not taking action than you will have regrets for the, you know, unwise action that you may have taken. And that's in the majority of cases. Yes, I'm sure there's some bad action that you could have taken that you'll regret. But the majority of people, the majority of time are going to regret not taking more action, not being brave enough to follow through on certain action steps. So that means... Be more calculating as to what you are going to talk about. Reduce that wasted talk time, that, that cheap talk, that wasted energy, that wasted talking about things that you know are never going to come to fruition. It's just talk. And absolutely, don't do that to yourself, but absolutely don't listen to the same behavior and the same talk from others. Stop listening to rubbish, take more action and attempt to do even more than you say, undersell and over deliver. So that when all is said and done in your life, more is done than said. Why not reverse the original episode title? Do more than, than you say, experience more than you thought was possible. I hope that's given you a bit of motivation this month. Message me anytime. Thank you for listening. I'm Robert Devan, the Success Sensei. Life is a fight you can enjoy and win. Bowing out. This has been the Success Sensei. Fighting the winning fight. So add us, subscribe, like, and comment. Keep those hands up and keep moving forward.